everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my current monthly favourites. I thought I would get into my like recent favourites at the moment for Vlogmas today because I like to mix up my Vlogmas videos anyway and I've got a few bits that I really want to share so I'm going to get right into it. So there's going to be beauty, some like homey bits and then some stuff that I've been really enjoying like either reading or watching as well. So hopefully you enjoy. So the first thing that I'm going to start with are like two sort of like body care skincare items i guess and the first one is this and this is the body shop almond hand and nail manicure cream and my goodness i love this i would actually quite like someone to buy me another tube for christmas because it's so nice it smells it just smells slightly almondy but not like really super nutty it's just really really nice and so so brilliant on like your hands especially at this time of year because i don't really have dry skin but my hands do take a beating and i've just found that like my nails are in better condition and my cuticles and things like that and i just brought this on a whim because they were sampling it when i went to the body shop in the traffic center and i got sucked into that sample so yeah really recommend that i think it's really good and then another thing that i've really been enjoying and I don't know if I've shared this before so sorry if I have but it's worth talking about and it's this impulse spray and it's the tropical beach and espresso body mist and it's really nice it's like I don't know it's quite a sort of musky scent which is one one that I really like I like those kind of scents but I've just been grabbing it when I can't really think of like what perfume I want to wear or I'm in a rush and it's like next to my deodorant so I'm like deodorant on and then this and it's like got a really really nice scent payoff and I've just really enjoyed it for those like days where I just want to freshen up or feel a bit better so I can really recommend that because it's not too expensive and I picked mine up from Superdrug. Then quickly as a little sort of random beauty-ish favourite are these little hoop earrings. Now they say the bigger the hoop the bigger the whore I think it is or the bigger the hoe. Uh, uh, I wish I hadn't gone there now but these are like the perfect size hoops I think and they come in a pack of two. I have gold and silver. I prefer the gold myself because I think warmer tone suit my skin tone but these are from asos and i i guess i'm not a very big hoe because mine are <laughs> not too big um but i've really been enjoying them like at this time of year like just to sort of jazz up an outfit and i like the way they like peek up through my hair and they're really comfortable to wear as well so if you're in the market for some new hoops these are lovely so now on to beauty bits and in the black friday sale i got an email from charlotte tilbury because obviously i've bought from there before and they had like a big discount off um certain items items in a black friday sale and i don't know if it was like 50 or 40 percent but it was a very very big amount and i have looked at the dreamy look in a clutch before and it's basically this like cardboard clutch that comes with several things which i've taken out and then like a usb lipstick here to teach you how to use them so they have like an eyeshadow set a lip liner a like mascara an eyeliner and a lipstick and i have really 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 enjoyed using this like it's dear it is expensive and it was a treat to myself because well i have no excuse it was just a treat it was on a massive discount so i went for it but I have loved two things out of this that I want to show you and the first thing is the Legendary Muse eyeshadow palette which looks something like this and it's all very rosy, goldy, warm tones and my goodness it's beautiful. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today and I just love how classy it looks. I think it'd be awesome with a tan so I'm really looking forward to wearing this in the summer months next year once this baby boy is out of my tummy and I can look nice again but I really 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 like this and it's just one of those where like you know when you buy something that is a bit more high end beauty wise and you're like I really really hope it's worth it but I've used it pretty much every single day since I bought it so I think that is kind of tribute enough to how lovely it is and then the other thing I really like from that set is this lipstick and I have um pillow talk as well from Charlotte Tilbury which I love now this is secret Salma I don't know if you can see that there but it's like the perfect plummy shade and I'm wearing it today and I was surprised at how much I liked it because I saw it in the set and I thought well 
that's not normally the shade that I go for but you know it's part of the set I'll give it a go and hopefully it'll be alright but I really really like it and I just think at this time of year when you do want to add a bit more colour but you don't want to go like too out there sometimes it's really really nice so if you're on the market for like this kind of mulberry shade then Secret Salma is the one and then on the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of like colour and price is this lipstick and it's one of the NYX soft matte lip creams now if you've watched my videos before you know that I have been raving about these for like at least a year I'm a huge huge fan of them and this is the shade Amsterdam and it is a gorgeous kind of it's not a true true red it's kind of like a raspberry coral hybrid red so it's not too blue toned it's not too warm toned it's just a really really lovely shade and I've been wearing this a lot when I fancy a red lip which is obviously quite a lot at this time of year being that Christmas is like just under two weeks away but if you haven't tried these or you're looking for some stocking fillers these would be perfect you can get them in like Boots and Superdrug you can get them on ASOS as well and there are so many different shades and they're definitely worth checking out because I just I blink and love them and then I can't remember completely if I've mentioned this before I probably mentioned it last year I might have mentioned it like very recently but every single time I wear this people ask me what I'm wearing on my eyes and it is this and it's the Stila I think it's the liquid metals and this is in Kit and Karma and I am obsessed with this it is basically a super super glittery eyeshadow really it's quite difficult to apply or at least you sort of need to follow a certain technique but oh my gosh if you need something for a christmas day or a christmas day this this is the one right here you need to go and check it out and then this this was a really random purchase and i am so glad that i bought it i normally use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade pomade and the anastasia beverly hills like eyebrow brush type thing with a spoolie and it's very similar to this but it's black and I've been using it to death but the spoolie's fallen off the end which is really irritating because now I can't use it and I was getting really frustrated with it so I thought right I'm going to buy a new one and I was on Amazon buying some things for Christmas anyway and I typed it in and I saw this and it came up with really really good reviews and I think it was only a few quid and it's by Do Colour I think it is and it's a dual ended like brush basically so we've got the brush which is really narrow and tapered on the end then we have a spoolie and I've just thrown it and it's it's really really good though like I, I'm just really pleased with it especially given how much it cost so if you are like not really into eyebrows or you're experimenting a little bit and you don't want to spend too much I will leave this link down below because I think it's a really nice little purchase so on to food items like obviously this time of year I can basically say everything like I'm loving pigs and blankets I'm already eating them already I am loving after eights because they are a huge pregnancy craving of mine there's just so much food about and there's so much drink about and oh my my goodness I wish I could have Christmas cocktails but there is one thing that's made me really really happy and if you have an espresso machine then you'll probably feel the same because Aldi have bought out these editions like Nespresso compatible pods. Now I buy the Aldi pods anyway because when I go in there I always just grab a packet and throw it into the basket but they do like espresso or lungo and that type of thing so they're really really handy and they're super cheap but now we have a vanilla, a chocolate and a caramello flavour which are all really really nice ones that Nespresso do but they are a fraction of the price and I don't know how long these are going to last. I hope that they are a regular instalment in my local Aldi because it will save me lots of money. But I really, really like the Nespresso version of the vanilla. I think sometimes just as a, you know, a warming treat that isn't really sugary because it's more of the flavour rather than sugar and syrup. Then these are a great, great shout and I'm just dead pleased. I've also seen a few people talk about a gingerbread one, which might be special edition, but I couldn't find that in my store. But the second and I do I'm gonna buy about 10 of them and then finally reading material and two things that I've been loving watching so I will start with the reading material and then move on to good old Netflix now I have this tradition every time of year and it gets to like November December and I start to obsess over Christmas food and recipes and I have like two Christmas books that I bring out every single year and I always 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 grab the food magazines so we have the co-op December magazine love reading that we've got the Waitrose December magazine that's a really really nice looking trifle there I have Iceland ones 
um, another co-op one and I also have because this is what life is like with children another weight shows one that I need to get through as well but I love just grabbing you know five ten minutes and flicking through and getting you know inspiration or just because I'm a foodie just getting excited over them I've mentioned how much I love these sort of free magazines before and it definitely gets stronger like the the love is strong at this time of year and then when I'm not reading those I have two Christmas books that I really really like one I've had for years and it's Nigella's Christmas and the other is Jamie Oliver's Christmas cookbook. If you wondered who my favourite chefs are, one is Nigella, one is Jamie Oliver and then I also love Nigel Slater as well but I don't have a Nigel Slater Christmas book so maybe I need to get one for next year but I have been loving reading these. They have been just so nice and it's like a little thing that I do for me so I can definitely recommend them if you're similar to me and then finally when it comes to favourites are two programmes that I've absolutely loved watching on Netflix and the first is Mindhunter this they are both sort of thriller crime series that you know if you're into that you need to watch them because they're amazing Mindhunter Mark and I binge watched and it was fascinating and it was all about the psychology behind serial killers and why they kill and like studying and trying to work out why and it was just it, it built in sort of like education and learning with like real time cases and trying to solve cases based on what these two men were learning about serial killers and it's phenomenal to watch and then the other one which is slightly disturbing in parts but still really really worth watching is Jessica Biel's The Sinner which is also a Netflix one absolutely incredible as I said some of the scenes are like gross and a bit creepy and a bit like I'm not sure why that was in there because now I just feel all like, Ugh. but they are incredible and really really worth a watch so if you're fancying something that isn't quite love actually or the holiday or like the elf and you just want to watch something a bit more like raw then uh, definitely check those out because they're well worth it so yeah those are my favorites for november and december i hope you enjoyed this video and if you are not already subscribed make sure you do if you like videos like this and you know you look forward to counting down to babies arriving because i have one due in march but yeah thank you so much for watching have a lovely day whatever you are up to and I will see you very soon bye